guys, it's Sassy Cassie, and welcome back to another reaction video of Narito. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video. Thank you guys so much for following me on my shinobi journey. Second, just in case um, this is your first video and you haven't heard this feel enough, that I have been an anime fan for a very long time, but I have never watched Naruto. However, because it's been out for so long, because one of my best friend's favorite animes of all time is Naruto, and because of the internet, there are just some things about Naruto that I already know. This is mostly like character names and what they look like, no real major plot points. However, it has come to my attention that I may know more than I think I know, but I'm not sure what these things are until they come up in the show. So, I apologize in advance if that bothers anybody, but we are just going to keep watching Naruto and enjoying it to the fullest. Third, as a reminder from last week that I have started a coffee account. The link will be in the description and on my about page. Essentially, you can purchase the coffee for however much you want it to be, but for every $10, you get to give me a suggestion on what I will be watching for my seven day long winter binge at the end of the semester, which means I will be spending seven whole days watching stuff and releasing it, hopefully within the same day, probably even more than one episode per day. So be sure to check it out if you're interested, but also don't feel bad if you can't. It's not a big deal, guys. I just appreciate you guys watching this anyway. Now to the recap. So in the last episode, we got the kind of start of the match between Sasuke and Gata, and we see that Sasuke is taking on a lot of inspiration, if you will, from Rock Lee, who is best boy, and he's utilizing the taijutsu. But as we know, that taijutsu didn't really work out for Rock Lee, so it has me and Guy Sensei kind of wondering what is Kakashi's plan? What did they further do? I personally still want to know how the end encounter between Gata and Sasuke went down. And all the while, Naruto's like in this fight, and then Kiba got knocked out by Kabuto, who's disguised as an Anbu Black Ops. There is so much happening. So, we're gonna get into this episode so we can figure out what the heck is going on, even though it probably won't be answered because that's just how it goes. Also, you guys will have to excuse me and my curly hair mess. Um, I tend to braid it pretty much every day, but every now and then you gotta let your curls breathe. So, here we are. Sensei, please! You right, right. Stop this match right away! What? <laughs> and then he stares. Everybody's staring at each other. No need to panic. Isn't there? Isn't there? You know, Sasuke and I weren't just goofing around. There's a reason we were so late getting here. Oh, I'm sure there's a reason for everything. Late for the show, but Andy. <laughs> I love the way they title these episodes. Maybe we'll actually find out what's ha what happened, what they, what more they did on the mountain top. What is he doing? So is he using his shirangenai? I. Or is that, I forget now, we haven't seen him in so long, I just don't remember what his eyes look like anymore. I don't know what the hell you're up to. You gonna stay in there forever? Probably not. Even Gata has a limit to his chakra, right? I can use the time getting ready for what I've got in store for you. Oh, so now he's gonna unwrap his bindings and be all super powerful too? What? Oh, 
Oh no. What is it? Something wrong? No. Oh. Just getting a phone call, it's fine. He says that nothing is wrong, but clearly No. No, you probably didn't. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. How do you just not notice a whole army of ninja? I don't like this, guys. You said there was a good reason you were late. What were you doing? Hmm. Well, it's kind of a long story. Always is. Always is. So shut up and watch. <laughs> Sasuke, he's about to surprise you. He doesn't. Let's go backwards up the wall, it's fine. The little fool. What does Gara think he's doing? Not following the plan, obviously. Okay, I know I'm wearing a jacket, but guys, I have chills. <laughs> uh, it'll never work. I say it's time to cut our losses and get out of here. Plan. Ah, I knew it. I was like, he's probably listening. Oh, love it. What's your status? Everything here is proceeding according to schedule. Gosh. Sir. Hurry up with your preparations for the summoning. I want every Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I was like, is this a summoning circle? <laughs> My hands are so cold. <laughs> I'm shivering. Ah. <laughs> uh. Is it time? Is it time to find out what this plan is? Uh. Lightning? But it can't be. If you wondered why I always insisted on training Sasuke myself, now you know. To teach him. Because he's like me. Like you, I guess. I see. That's what you were doing all this time. You were building a speed up to the level required. Exactly. It's amazing. His chakra is actually visible. How is that even possible? I guess. Excellent. Whoa. He wants this to happen? It's the weapon of choice for assassinations. The secret of the jab is in the speed with which it is delivered, and the ninja's ability to focus its chakra at the point of impact. Okay. Elements, speed and focus, have attained a certain level, the chakra actually becomes visible and gives off the distinctive sound that you hear, like birds chirping. Okay. But this, mm. Hmm. Chidori, one thousand birds. But mm, I have so many questions, and I feel like none of my actual questions that I already had are being answered at all. Well, except the other technique they could possibly be doing. So did you get him or are you gonna have that smirk quickly wiped off your face? Meanwhile, Kabuto in the back. That's impossible. No one can penetrate his defenses. Obviously, that's not true. X. 
Excellent. Or is he trying to use Sasuke to take out his son since he's failed? Questions. As lightning blade. Why is that? It got that name because Kakashi once used it to cut a bolt of lightning in half before it could touch the ground. Wow, cutting lightning in half. Yeah, right. <laughs> He knows thoughts. <laughs> but once perfected, it transforms a ninja's arm into an indestructible and invincible sword. A dangerous technique not to be taught lightly. Yeah, you're one to talk. <laughs> right, Lee? <laughs> I understand it well enough. Even with a running start at top speed, I would never use a direct frontal attack with a jab against my opponent. Or rather... I could not. Why couldn't you? I would be opening myself to a counter blow and I could not trust in my ability to avoid it. Th That's fair. Now I've got you. Do you though? We're good here. How about on your end? <laughs> They're just slowly surrounding the village. <laughs> Oh, or does the signal have to do with their fight, which is why they couldn't pull off their plan until they fought? Look at him. A minute ago, he was worried that Sasuke wasn't strong enough. Now he thinks he's too strong, and he's jealous. <laughs> Maybe he thinks that he's also grown, and he wants to show Sasuke how he's grown. I don't know. you myself but that was before 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 you knew what before you knew how strong he got too your own blood <laughs> has he never bled Got it in pain. Uh, what is that? That arm. Hmm. You reckless little fool. How is he the reckless one? I mean, I'm not really on Gata's side, but, like, whatever is happening is not, he's not clearly in control right now. Oh, I remember the first time I saw it. That thing. It was... Is this, like, the demon thing? The thing that him and him, him and Naruto have in common? I'm gonna assume. That's what I'm assuming. Oh, my hands are so cold. I question if this is what the Kazakage wanted. <laughs> uh. Uh. You guys. Uh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, this is clearly gonna go on to another episode. Okay, it's not a monster. Well, relatively speaking. I was right, he's hurt. 
the shell broke before the change was complete. <sighs> before what change was complete? Something's different. That's not the same look in his eyes that I saw before. You think? Oh, no. Don't, no, what? No, don't touch you, Pete. No. Hmm. <laughs> I have questions. I'm going to pretend that he did not just kill that guy. Mm, that's not good. That's not good. Kakashi, do you feel it? Yeah, but Genjutsu. Release! Oh. <laughs> Sakura is just fine. It's coming. Hmm, I don't like that. Ugh. Is this going to be like one of those crazy moments of realization? <sighs> or did he just secretly know the whole time? Now, shall we begin? <gasps> There's the signal. I think it was just a bomb. Okay, it's fine. <sighs> ah! I know it's just gonna end before anything even happens, but this is a lot. <laughs> Which is fine, because I wanted to know what the plan was anyway. He's gonna be asleep for the whole thing. Ugh. That's the ending, isn't it? I knew it. Ugh. Oh my gosh, you guys. That whole episode, I've been cold the whole time. Like, it's hard because, like, yo, know, I want to pay attention to what's happening with Sasuke and Gata because obviously there's a lot happening there. But, like, I'm so confused at the same time because Tamati and Kankudo are like, he's not following the plan. And yet the Kazakage was like, haha, it's going according to plan. So clearly he was expecting something they weren't. Also, I realize that their plan is to, you know, destroy the Leaf Village. But, like, and I know they've talked about why. I get it, but I also don't get it. I want to know why it was so important for Gata to face Sasuke in order for them to execute this plan. Like, did they need Sasuke to neutralize Gata, Or did they need him to be in a crazy, like, heightened state for the whole demon-y thing that they talked about? Because clearly there was something else in there. This sucks because I really want to watch the next episode, but I can't because I have other things to do today. But it might be a good idea to go do something else because I, I just, maybe I should just walk outside and warm up because I'm cold. I am so cold. <laughs> I have goosebumps. I am shivering. There are so many episodes of Naruto, so I'm going to assume it's going to be okay, at least in the long run. But now I'm curious if they grow up in a kind of society where they have to rebuild everything or are they just gonna defeat the sand and the sound village before they get the chance to destroy their village all the questions with all those feelings in mind 
Thank you guys so much for following me on my Shinobi journey. As a reminder, my coffee account will be linked in the description as well as in the about page on YouTube if you guys are interested. And yeah, until next time. Bye!